What will happen if scoliosis isn't treated? Scoliosis is a progressive condition. It's in its very nature to worsen over time. And even though we know scoliosis is not curable, we know it can be highly treated and it can be and scoliosis progression could be avoided if not eliminated completely. There's never treatment guarantees, but if scoliosis isn't treated, it's almost guaranteed that it will worsen over time. What we just don't know is how fast it's going to worsen over time over what time age, over what time period. But we do know only proactive treatment can counteract the progressive nature of scoliosis. So since we don't know what causes scoliosis, but we do know what triggers the progression, and the number one risk factor for progression in scoliosis is growth and development. We know young patients who are in their adolescent stage that are still growing, that are about to enter their rapid phase of, of growth, this is when we experience or see the most consistent stage of rapid progression, and this is a response of constant growth. Adults un un progress at a much different rate. However, unlike many adults are told not to worry about that, it's not going to worsen because they're no longer growing. That is unfortunately not true. Curves do progress in the adult stage, but they progress much slower. And this is a result of gravity over time. And as, as gravity causes compressive nature to this scoliosis, the curve can progress. And this progression tends to increase as patients get older. So it tends to not only continue to get bigger, but it starts getting bigger faster. So in the adult patient, it tends to be like a snowball effect that it starts off really slow, but it gains speed as the curve gets bigger. Now, scoliosis severity ranges in four different categories. The first category being a mild scoliosis, moderate, severe, and then very severe. These curves are nowhere indicated where if a patient is diagnosed at a mild, they're going to be mild forever. That this is definitely we expect we see curves go from one category to another to another as they're left untreated. The severity of scoliosis is definitely determined by the measurement of something called the Cobb angle. The higher this Cobb angle measurement, the more severe the condition is. Curves less than 25 degrees will be diagnosed as a mild scoliosis. Between 25 and 40 degrees, we'll look at a moderate scoliosis. 40 degrees and greater, we're looking at severe. And then 80 degrees or greater is a category I like to use, which is called very very severe scoliosis. Cobb angles are, de are derived from an x-ray, typically a scoliosis x-ray, that encompasses the entire spine that's done standing. And these scoliosis x-rays are normally done um, with a patient standing, facing either towards or away the x-ray. And these lines are drawn from the most tilted vertebra on the top of the curvature to the most tilted vertebra on the bottom of the curvature. If somebody has more than one curves, there'd be more than two sets of lines drawn. And where these lines enter intersect, they will develop an angle, and this angle is, is expressed in degrees. And again, the more severe the angle, the higher the angle, the more severe the condition. Now, if mild scoliosis is left untreated, there's some, some things that we lose. We know mild curvatures definitely respond better to treatment. So if we take a small curve and make it smaller, we're going to gain the, the, the amount of reduction we can achieve will never be the same as the curve progresses into moderate or severe. So we lose this opportunity in making a small curve even smaller. And even though in traditional treatment, mild curvatures are normally not recommended to treat them, and this is only because, number one, their only way to reduce the scoliosis is invasive spinal fusion. So if your only tool to reduce scoliosis in, in a mild situation is more risky than the scoliosis itself, but by all means, you would just wait and see if the curve will worsen because we don't know how much a curve will progress in either stage, in either growth or an adult stage. However, if we have a treatment that's not invasive and that works with the body and makes a curve smaller, nobody's going to argue the fact that a smaller curvature is better, even if it's in the mild category, meaning if you have a 15 degree curve, it's better off than having a 25 degree curve, even though both are considered mild. In small scoliosis cases, we have less limits and we can definitely get better reductions. And the smaller the curve is in either stage, adolescent or adult stage, we know it progresses or the risk of progression is much less because the de degree of progression is always related to the size of curve in either stage, whether they're an adolescent progressive uh, ca case during growth or an adult stage just slowly progressing as a result of gravity. 
if mild curves are left untreated, they can progress to become a moderate scoliosis. Now, moderate scoliosis is normally where I start to see patients. Even though I'd much rather see mild patients and I take care of a lot of mild cases, but the most common patient I treat is somebody who has a moderate to severe scoliosis because in this stage, the effects have become more significant. The number one effect in an adolescent is only postural. It's only what you see. And curves need to become a certain size to where the condition starts to affect where it becomes more noticeable. We say every 10 degrees of progression doubles the visual impact. So a 20 or 25 degree curve may not be very visual, where at 35 degrees, you're going to double the visual impact in terms of what we see in the scoliosis. And then we look at a 45 degrees, it will be twice as bad as a 35 and then twice as bad as a 25. So therefore, we we know there's significant increase when we look at the, the differences in what we see this. So that's why the majority of patients we treat are in this category range. Also, in the adult patients, as curves progress into the severe stage, the more likely to cause pain and discomfort and malfunction. So therefore, this tends to be also the more common group in the adult patient as well. If moderate curves are left untreated, they're more likely to become severe. And then if severe curves are less, uh, are not treated, they're more likely to become something called very severe. In the very severe range, this is where they can start affecting other organ systems like digestive issues, lung impairment, respiratory dysfunction. So therefore, we want we never want to leave curves untreated. In addition, as moderate curves move into the severe stage, this is where they're typically recommended um, spinal fusion or surgical intervention. And we know surgery itself has its own risks associated with that treatment option. So therefore, treating curves in the mild or moderate range and not letting curves become the severe range is by far should be the goal of every conservative treatment option out there. So if scoliosis is untreated, we know it's going to worsen. At some point, it's going to be worsening either in as late stage adult or rapidly while they're growing or slowly in the middle life, but it's going to worsen. And as curves worsen, they tend to cause more problems. And we also know the degree of reduction or the percent of reduction that we can achieve will always decrease as, as curves get bigger. So our philosophy is the younger the patient, the smaller the curve, the better the results. So therefore, since we know scoliosis is always progressing, we know the sooner you treat that scoliosis, the better outcome you're going to achieve. So therefore, the only way to, to deter the natural progression of scoliosis is to have a proactive treatment approach. And that is always the best, best way to treat it is as soon as possible, which is always now. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.